hello everyone so like uh, today i'll be presenting you something really very dangerous so it is something a dangerous electronics hardware so i hope you guys will enjoy but do use these things legitimately because this can be of a severe harm to others because like this is a primary concept of ethical hacking so let's begin so you see uh, this is a tiny little device in my hand so this is nothing just a usb sort of a <coughs> hardware so what is it you see this particular small chip over here so this particular small chip is nothing but a microcontroller besides that this one this one is nothing but a driver so it is a voltage regulator and there are some kind of resistors capacitors and that's it so this is a very simple board that we have a tiny one as you can see like if you compare the size with my fingers so this is a very tiny little board but this is really a dangerous one so let me just brief you what is it this is a very simple hardware or like we can call it a emulator so it is an electronic simulator so what is a basic difference between a simulator and a emulator is like simulator is completely software controlled and emulator it is electronically controlled simulator so that we call emulator so this is particularly an emulator so what is it so as we all know like there are different kind of hardware devices so like the mouse that we use or like the keyboards that we use all those kind of devices are like uh, they are called hid or like human interface devices that means it is a device using which a human interacts with the computer so that's the reason it is called a human in interface device so this simple usb thing can also be programmed as a hid so human interface device in simple terms i can program it to be a keyboard i can program it to be a mouse i can program it to be a joystick whatever i feel like now the question would be like why would i do so means what's the benefit let's assume you see the small pins or terminals in this so it is a very easy concept that i can easily attach a temperature sensor or any kind of sensor to this particular board and as soon as i plug it in and configure it as a keyboard what it will do it will read the temperature from the sensor convert it its signal into the digital manipulations and then write the information into a text pad or notepad as if it is a keyboard so once you plug it into your computer it will automatically start typing the values of the sensor so you can use it as a data logger let's assume as a mouse so if you are playing a game and you know like particularly after particular intervals as soon as like doing a image processing and all that as soon as something comes in front of you you should always take press a left side arrow so in such kind of situations also this can be useful so you need to program it accordingly so i'll just give you a brief demo how this works so as you can see like i have two different kind of softwares open in my window so the left one this one is a mouse one and the right one is a keyboard one so what we need to simply do is like this is an arduino portal so we just simply need to click on upload so as you can see it is processing and it will ask for a uh, device to be inserted when its compilation is done so now it is asking for the device to be inserted so let's assume that i am inserting the device so as soon as it will complete you need to plug it out you see it's completed i plug it out so what happens now this is configured as a mouse but how let's do it so this is a particular pdf let's assume so i'll just plug in this particular device into my usb and let's see how it animates
so you see it is a scrolling up and scrolling down automatically it will scroll up and scroll down so this is completely electronically simulated so this device is acting as a mouse so you have programmed it that it will send scroll signals up and scroll signals down repeatedly so let's assume again i plug it out so it has been programmed in such a manner that each time you plug it out and plug it in it will randomly choose a different kind of activity and will do it so let's plug it in again so when i plug it this time you will see like it is now doing a right click moving the mouse in a square direction and it repeats the same activity doing a right click moving it down left right up and this works in a loop so you understood like this is the purely the concept of the electronic simulator and this is so much thin small and portable device that it can be used anywhere like let's assume you have a windows password you configure it as a keyboard you store the password into this one as soon as windows prompt for the password just plug in this key automatically your windows is opened because the password is provided using this keyboard so this is how we can do it so now let's do an experiment for being this a keyboard what i'll simply do is like this is my keyboard software so again i'll press upload for this one so once the sketch is ready i'll just plug in the device it's ready i'm plugging it in as soon as it gets completed i'll just plug it out yeah it's done i plugged it out now let's open a notepad so let's assume this is a notepad so what i'll do i'll simply again plug this device in you see it automatically started typing in let me show you a closer look see how much fast and flexible it is writing and this will work in loop now let's make things a little bit interesting if i again plug it out and plug it in so the sequence gets changed now you will see it will write something different so just because i have programmed it like that way so now you see it is writing one line and it is repeating that So this was a brief demo. Now the point is like how this can be used as an ethical hacking tool. So that would make little bit things interesting. So in very simple terms, this particular device that we hold in our hand, let's assume that I program it as a keyboard. As we all know like the keyboard using which if we press windows R type in power shell it will automatically open the power shell. And let's assume like I they gave the commands like that i opened the power shell type in a few commands change the windows password that's it so as soon as a person plugs in this device into his computer automatically it will open the command prompt and automatically change the windows password and the device would get locked so you understood like this is how much dangerous and the most interesting thing just because it is an hid the human interface device like a mouse or a keyboard no antivirus or a no tool has any kind of privilege or like has no control on it so no antivirus can detect this one because this is a keyboard and the most interesting thing is like plugging it in and execution of the scripts is completely signifies that it is you who is writing the scripts in your own computer and you are damaging it it is not any kind of a software 
which is like a virus or like any kind of a malware which is put inside your computer and it is working no it is you who is writing the script because this is a keyboard so no antivirus no malware detection tool can ever detect this one so this is a very dangerous thing that you have let's assume we are talking about a ransomware it's very simple what is a ransomware ransomware is nothing but it locks your drive encrypts it and like changes your wallpaper and asks for money to provide you with the decryption key so it's very simple like you program it like that it will open the partial it will go to your d drive it will encrypt the d drive using an encryption key and will change the wallpaper and would place a text into your wallpaper saying like provide me this much money for your decryption key because every script has been written into it it will automatically open the partial and do everything that you want and the most interesting thing is like in the cyber world of crime we know like the ip gets tracked and everything so there is a traceability but this device has no traceability this doesn't interacts with internet or anything it is a simply plug and play device so you program it just throw it away outside an it world or like any kind of it office or any kind of a like a college or wherein you need the very valuable data there will be many people like it is a common trend like as soon as a people see a usb device they'll simply plug it into in their computer and as soon as they plug it into their computer they are their own administrators within their computer so as soon as they plug it in things are destroyed that's it it is a keyboard who types in different commands and destroys it so you understood how much dangerous it is so guys please use it legitimately for ethical hacking purposes only thank you